What's up, world? How are you doing today? My question is how many of you out there are, you know, I'm going to talk about backbone. Backbone meaning not just backbone, but I'm talking about how many of you out there are the backbone of your family. Or do you know of who the backbone of your family is the one you can always run to when you need help when you when you you know you don't you look at them and you see that you know they they're carrying a lot of weight or you know you don't have to be the old one all the time mama mama probably ain't always it um your auntie probably ain't always it it may be because you're you know you're, you're the strong one in the family. You're the one you know they can always count on when ain't want nobody else pick up the pieces or carry the load. You know they can always count on you. The reason I'm asking that is because I know of backbone. I am. Well, I'm not, not to be bragging. I'm the backbone of my family. One of them. The reason I say that, I... I take care of my sister's child. My sister passed away. For you all out who to, out there who don't know that, um, my husband. Uh, marriage is a hell of a thing. You know, just just recently or whatever. He made me he made me very mad and very upset to the point where I sent off them papers. The paper I sent the papers I sent off turned out not to be the right kind of papers, not to be the right papers, or not the up to date papers. Uh, so he started saying, "Why are you doing this to me now? You know I love you. You know I need you. You know I'm trying. I, you know you my strength and." all this stuff and you know you you women out there men out there you know when somebody's saying it from the heart and or when they're not or when they don't really mean it they just want to stay want you to stay around for whatever reason whatever the case may be but i know this man needs me i know he's there for me i know he loves me he's just matches a hell of a thing <laughs> um but you know I'm the, I'm his backbone. I'm the one who strengthens him, who gives him encouragement, who who lifts him up, who's who's always there when nobody else is around, when no one else will care for him, be there for him, when everybody else has uh, you know tossed him to the side, tossed him to the wolves, the lion said he ain't gonna be none in life here. You know you might as well go on somewhere else and go on move on with your life, go on you know divorce him, get mad again, you know just go on cause he ain't gonna never be nobody. Now mind you, this guy. Is 28 years old, and his past has nothing to do with his future. Now I want you all out there to listen to this, cause your past, no matter how hard, no matter what you didn't been through, no matter if you didn't kill somebody, and that's the worst crime. If you didn't kill somebody, no matter what you have done, no matter how far you have fallen or whatever. It does it does not affect your future. It is all in you and yourself and how you feel and how you are how you motivate yourself. God gave you everything you ever needed to have in life when He made you, when He set you on this earth. When you popped at your mama, you know, stuff. When you were born into the world, everything you ever needed in life was in you. It's all up to you to get it for yourself. But back to my question, you know, with you being, you, you know, you're the backbone of yourself. Let me put it like that. You're the backbone of yourself, but you just don't know it. So, you know, you feel weak and you probably have a bad upbringing and you, 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 your mind, you know, you, your mind been so tangled with all this you can and you won't and you never will and all this kind of stuff and something just got, got inside your head where you like I need I need somebody to lean on I need somebody stronger than me or whatever to lean on so I'm going to pick 
my sister, I'm gonna pick Yolanda over here. I'm gonna pick my mama because I know she's good for it. But, you know, who my question is who is the backbone of your family? Are you the backbone of your family? Or, and when you feel that, you know, it's too much pressure, or you just can't take it, and you just get about to go psycho and crazy, but then when you sit down and you realize and you analyze, and the only person you can turn to, the only person you really know who will listen, is God and Muslims, other religions. There's only one God. But when you look at it, and you realize that, you know, you got to talk to somebody other than a human, and you talk to God, you realize that you're the backbone, that you can handle it, you can get through it, you know, God said he's going to help you, he'll never leave you or forsake you, you know, he's there in the midst of your storm, your tears, I'm very spiritual, y'all, so look out, watch out. Um, how do you handle it and cope and what have you did and how did you handle going through it whatever and you know just let me know hit me up let me know um what success is mine at yahoo.com um y s u s s e c c i mean y s u c c e s s i s m i n e at yahoo.com or hit me up on my blog um Yolanda Y-A-L-O-N-D-A Dustin D-U-S-T-I-N dot wordpress dot com hit me up let me know what's going on bye